cold, cold outside, and we're going to make it toasty warm in your home with this. How gorgeous is this? You know, you could certainly get, or maybe you've already pulled out that old ceramic space heater, and you've got it near your feet, and you're like, well, my feet are warm, but her feet are still cold. Or you say, oh, honey, get out that radiating plug-in heater, and the thing just looks awful, and quite frankly, it doesn't do any good. Or you move into latest technology with infrared in a beautiful design. That's what this baby's all about. I am pretty darn excited about this because we have a huge savings. And the fact we're only a couple days into winter means we got a lot of frigid weather in store for us. And now this one's already on sale at a great savings tonight in the beginning of winter, which is wonderful. So what do we have? We added free shipping. It is now on sale. When they're gone, they're totally sold out. And we have four flex pays with any major credit card. We have white or we have espresso. And my light bulb man is with me, Carrie McNally. All full of bright That's ideas. You, oh, <laughs> would you write that about a week ago? Actually, two weeks ago. <laughs> When I got the memo. Yeah, no, I like the fact that this matches your outfit, outfit, by the way. Oh, well, thank you. How about that? My little like workout, color my little workout outfit. That's okay, important. let's let's cut to the chase. It's been a remarkably unseasonably warm fall, but it's coming to a screeching halt. Take a look at this weather map. Yeah, it's still fine in Florida and Texas, but the rest of the country is absolutely bitterly cold, and it's only getting worse. It's in the 30s throughout the Midwest. It's down into the teens, actually, in places like Minneapolis, uh, Boston. It was freezing. New York City. It's happening. And uh, the folks at, at LifeSmart, they are the most popular and, and the, the largest selling of all the infrared heaters in, uh, in, at HSN. And the most important thing is what's the difference between a, a typical coil heater and an infrared heater? There's a huge difference because infrared quartz heating heats objects in your room, not just the air right in front. It heats you. It heats the chair you're sitting in. It heats the bed that you're sleeping in. It heats your pets. If you have a pet... If you have a cat or a dog, they're going to live right down here, right below the, li the Life Smart. I mean, they're just going to live here. And it's completely cool to the touch. This is a rock solid piece of wood furniture with a beautiful veneer. And it it's super safe. It has all kinds of feature fe safety features. And I want to walk you through these LED displays over here because it couldn't get simpler. So here's your on and off button. Here's your oscillating fan. You can see that this moves back and forth right there. Here's your uh, up and down, very simple and easy. This is a clock, and that basically means it's programmable. So if you get up in the morning and it's freezing in the kitchen, set it to go off about 15 minutes before you get up in the morning. Conversely, if you get back, let's say you get back at 6.30 or 7 o'clock at night, and it's freezing when you get home, set it for a few minutes before you get home. Uh, here's your fan settings, and then also uh, you, can, you, can, you can basically adjust the, the, the two fans basically um, on the tower and I, I just think it's a beautiful piece of furniture but you can put stuff on top of it if you want like because plant. it's completely it's cool great, to touch honestly, it's a great plant and we're going to use the thermometer again just as we did before it's 68 degrees on top of the unit but then when I aim it inside the unit and I hit one of those fan, one of those coils in there we're, we're talking about 480 degrees Fahrenheit wow. And remember, it's not drying out the air in your room and drying out your skin and your sinuses and your eyes. It's heating you. It's heating the furniture. It's heating objects in the room. And the best analogy is when it's freezing cold outside and then you step into the sun. It's still freezing cold, but the infrared heat from the sun warms you to the core, to your bones. And it was, this, it was discovered in the 1800s, and it's in every technology. They use it on the space station, for heaven's sakes, because it's so much more efficient and cost-effective, and it'll heat a room the size of a two- or three-car garage, 6,000 cubic square feet, cubic feet, rather. It's one of the and, biggest we've ever done. One of the biggest, estimate. absolutely. I mean, think about that. If you've got a garage, and let's say your husband or you want to work out in the garage, you're like, well, it's freezing cold. We don't have it heated. This is actually going to heat, with no other heat source, the entire garage. I mean, from corner to corner, top to bottom, in and out. It's not just heating this little teeny surround right here. It is literally going out through the entire room, and it's going to elevate the temperature in the room. And it also has a thermostatic control in here, too, yeah. doesn't it? So what's nice about this is it's not going to run all day long. When it senses, you set it, let's say you're going to work, and you set it to be like at 64 degrees, okay? And all day long, it'll turn on and turn off to keep that temperature at the right temperature that you want. Also, I love what Carrie said. 
How often do you have the heat cranked up because you don't want to come home to a freezing cold house after you've worked all day? Well, forget that. Keep the heat lower. Save a ton of money along with your new light bulbs. We've got you covered tonight on money savings. And then time this so that about a half hour before you walk in the door, oh, that living room is so toasty warm when you walk in. It's no more sitting in your coat while you're waiting for your house to cool, while you're waiting for your house to warm up and sitting with your mittens and scarf on while you're waiting for your home to get warmer. All you have to do is set this to come on and be stronger and warm up that room before you get home, which I think is the best idea because so many people say, like, let's say it's a bedroom. You know, you're not in the kitchen sleeping. You're in your bedroom and yet you have your entire house heated yeah. just to make your back bedroom warm enough to sleep all night. Well, we were talking about uh, being frugal and growing up with two school teachers in the house and then eventually I was raised by a single mom. We closed off rooms in our house. My sister moved in with my mom and my brother moved in with me. So we had, instead of four bedrooms, we had just two. And then downstairs we had a kerosene heater mm. because money was super tight. And I would never imagine bringing a kerosene heater into your house. It's like bringing your barbecue into your living room. You would never do that. And the other alternative is those like really weird looking coil heaters that look like they're from a sci-fi so movie scary. in the 1970s. They're dangerous. They're dangerous. Yeah. If this, heaven forbid, were to tip over, it will shut off before it tips over. It has all kinds of safety features. If you have little ones in the house, there's a locking device on this. You hold it down for five seconds, it keeps everything exactly where you have it. And we don't just give you one remote, we give you two, and they're universal remotes. So if you were to That's buy great. two, like say you wanted a white one for the kitchen and you wanted the espresso for the living room, all the remotes work for all of the units from LifeSmart, and they work from up to 100 feet away. So you don't have to get out of your chair, you don't have to get out of your bed, completely programmable. And when it comes to zone heating, all the economics, all the economists out there, they say the same thing. Turn it down two to three degrees and save 10, hundreds, if not thousands of dollars over the course of the entire winter because you're zone heating the rooms that you're spending most of your time in, whether it's the living room or the kitchen, right. or it's the bedroom. You can really crank that that thermostat down like 65, 66, and still be comfortable. Right. And then you can shut it off when you go to work and program it to be on when you come home. Also, it's about 30 pounds, so here, I'm just gonna pick it up. I mean, yeah. you know, it's not the lightest weight thing, but I can move it from room to room. That's not hard to do. Also, you know, we're talking a lot about light tonight and lamps. This would be gorgeous. It's, it's a, the right height. Like. Do we have one? Oh, yeah. You yeah. know what, guys? Let's go over here. Because what I'd love to do is I want you to see the height of this. If you wanted to put a lamp on top of this, or you could put a live plant on here as well. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It, it Not only is it hard working, it looks good. Like, sometimes when you pull out those old ceramic heaters or those radiating heaters, they're just ugly, you know? Right. And there they are in the middle of your living room. They look terrible. This, actually, you put a plant or a light on it or use it to put drinks down on it, you can because it's a piece of furniture that happens to be heating up a two to three car garage size room. So that could be your whole great room and your whole kitchen if it's one continuous space. Can you imagine this doing all that work so your main heating system at home doesn't have to? And you're a superstar crafter. Yep. If you're closing off a room in the house or the apartment or the condominium because it's so cold and you wanna go ahead and reduce your energy costs, and you're not getting to do the things that you love. Maybe there's a room in the back of the house that you close down. Um, maybe somebody comes over and they're always cold. I mean, that happened. Could be the basement. Yeah, it could be the man cave. You're shutting down the man cave for the entire winter. That's just what we do. Uh, we're not going out into the garage. We're not going out into the lanai in the southern state because it's just too cold, but you get all that fresh air and you watch the sunset. Bring this outside if you want to. All you need is a, a standard outlet. That's the beauty of it. So you can save money and you don't have to give up the things that you you love in the rooms where you do the things that you love just because it's winter time. And I was talking with a, a meteorologist friend of mine, because I've been broadcasting that for about 25 years, and I said, what's up with the El Nino? I keep hearing it's going to be worse. And I asked him to explain it. It's just basically when the equatorial waters down by the equator heat up, that hits us hard in the reverse in the winter time here in the northern hemisphere, and it's going to be worse. Yes, it's been an unseasonably uh, mild fall, but it's going to be a tough winter, and this is a great way to save money and not be uncomfortable, because let's face it, when we're cold, when our hands are cold and our feet are cold, we're uncomfortable. We get grumpy. I know I do. Yeah. I'd rather be warm and comfortable. Well, and also, too, you know, stop wasting all that money. Think about how much you can actually save. Between your light bill, which is going to be substantial with our Whirlpool, Whirlpool LED Light Today special, and this, you're going to save real money. And it's just these small little changes that you have to make to see a lot more money in your pocketbook or in your purse. Um, that, to me, is kind of the key to this. If you can lower your temperature in your overall
fall home by just a couple of degrees. And you can look it up. If you want to see the stats and, you know, all that kind of good stuff, go on and Google it. And you'll see it's a substantial amount of savings. But do you want to be in a 64 degree home all winter, you know, and you're just freezing all day long? You know, do you always wear like a coat and a jacket and a turtleneck and a sweatshirt just to be inside your house? That's not even going outside. Or do you want to be comfortable? And this is the way to do it. And at the same time, be able to really save substantial amount of money. If you want to save money on your light bill, we got you covered with our Whirlpool Today special. So tonight really is about starting the new year. And I think we all think about finances. We think about ways to lower that big expensive electric bill and we've got some serious answers tonight to help you do that now this has the lowest price we've ever offered so it's a huge nice savings on this unit we also have flex pay and the flex pay is only available for today and we do expect this to sell out before the day's over i have less than a couple of thousand of these available it's the final chance for the whole season and we just started winter carrie i mean it's not like we're doing it it's the end of winter sure. and it's going to be yeah. 70 degrees next week right we've got weeks and potentially months left where it is bitterly cold. We haven't even hit the worst part of it No, yet. we're heading right into the teeth of winter, absolutely. And there you can see the national maps, and we were doing, we were pulling up, this up on the phone in the green room. It's really bitterly cold. And when that wind starts to blow in places like Chicago, it gets really uncomfortably cold. And you may be in a situation where you're in a walk up in New York City, and you have a superintendent, and you have no control whatsoever on that thermostat. And of course, the superintendent, he's trying to save money because the rents are fixed, and it's bitterly cold. This would be great to send uh, off to to, to a, you can ship this basically to a college. If they're maybe St. Cloud State up in Minnesota, they're in these cinder block little dorms and they're freezing. If they're cold, they can't study. They're not going to do well in class. And I love the fact that it's simple and easy to operate. There's no assembly required whatsoever. You take it out of the box, you plug it in and you turn it on. And let me walk you through again the features because it's so simple. Here's your on and off switch. Here's the oscillating, the oscillating vents go back and forth. Here's your temperature gauge up and down. Here is a programmable uh, button so you can time this. So you can turn it on before you wake up or you can turn it on or have it go on automatically before you come home. And here we have two settings here. This is basically high, low, and eco. If I have it on eco, it'll just maintain the temperature in the room at 68 degrees for as long as you want it to, but I can also turn it up to high and it kicks the fan in or I can operate the fan separately. Couldn't be easier and that's why they're so popular. And once again, cool to the touch, completely cool up top, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The top of this unit is right now. But when I point it in to the coils down in there, 316 degrees Fahrenheit. So it'll really put off a lot of infrared heat and a huge difference between a traditional space heater is space heaters hit the, heat this area right here and they dry out the air. So your sinuses, your skin's all dried out. This heats objects in the room. Infrared makes its way to you, to the chair you're sitting in, to your pets, the, the bed you're sleeping in, and it's much more efficient than those typical non-infrared heating coils. And I think it's so much better looking. It's a beautiful, yeah, rock-solid piece of furniture. First and foremost, it's a phenomenal heater on top of that. And when it's showing that, do you notice how the red's around the entire picture? That means it heats everything in the room, from the farthest corner all the way to close up and everything in between. So it's height, it's depth, it's width. It's not just you know, radiating just a teeny little bit of heat and you have to stand here right in front of it to be warm. You could be sitting on the dining room table and if it's in the same room and somebody else is sitting on the couch, you're all equally comfortable. And that's the difference between infrared. If you've got those old ceramic heaters, my husband bought a radiating heater that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I absolutely despise it when he rolls that baby out. And it's like you literally stand near it to be warm and if you touch it, you will burn your skin. It's terribly dangerous and I despise it. I mean, it is so ugly and it doesn't work. Or you get infrared. If you're using any other kind of method, you're spending a lot of money trying to heat a little teeny bit of space. With the infrared, it's truly a game changer. Lowest price we've ever done. And when it's on sale like that, it's not on sale because nobody loves it. People love this unit. It's beautiful and it works. It's on sale because we're ending up this season and we're bringing in our stuff for spring. So if you really want to get it on great savings now and then years from now because you don't have to eat up that electric bill, it's a good time to pick it up. All right, we're going to wrap this one up. All right. The white, by the way, is the most limited. And then, of course, we have that dark espresso, which is gorgeous. Okay, Carrie, thank you. Thank I you. I will see Suzanne. you in a mere 15 minutes. You bet. We're going to take look number two at our today's